Good morning. Do you think this is controller compatible? <gasps> it is! And my new controller works, which is fun. Oh no, oh, A is on the other side. Oh, we don't like that for me. Why are they backwards? Oh no. Wait, what? The only settings are... You don't even have a... This can't be right. Okay, wait, hold on. Shit. Oh, this is so Stardew Valley. It doesn't even have a... Hold on. I will turn down the music. It doesn't even have a... There we go. It doesn't even have, like, a, a, a volume slider. For In the settings, it's just, like, a full screen, and... I know! Look at it! It's so cute! Hello, everyone. Good morning. We're finally back in my element. We've escaped hell. Twice. And now we're in a beautiful farm sim. And I just realized that my controller that I got, the A and the B buttons are swapped. And it's going to take some getting used to, for sure. Wakey wakey, sleepy bones. Father? Oh, it's because I'm not. Also, for me, weirdly, on my taskbar, game doesn't have a... Uh, at, like, an icon. It's just the white piece of paper. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Oh, it's because I tapped out of it again. I'm dumb. I know it's your last day at home, but that doesn't mean you can skip your chores. Come over here and give your old man a hand. Apparently, I slept outside on the ground. Oh, it looks like Pokemon. Oh, okay, so why is my inventory? Oh, look at this little game. Oh, I'm in love, but first I need to go to... Okay, so here are all of the settings. Why don't you have it as an option? Show minimap, show minimap icons. Show clock, show spirit levels, show control hints, flashing objects. Audio. Um, I think it's a farm sim and creature collector. Ooh. So let's turn the music down just a little, because holy shit. It's so loud for me. I turned it down for you guys, but... There we go. And then we'll keep the... Sound effect volume is... 69. <laughs> oh, I like ambient sounds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is nice. Okay, gameplay. A little disorienting with the D-pad not working to do things, but... Always sprint on. <laughs> Screen shake, controller rumble, spirit spawn rate, battle difficulty. Uh, excuse me, sir, we're... Fuck that recommended. Yeah, we're gonna put that on easy. Daily difficult fishing minigame. How about we're gonna put that on easy as well. Okay, so, yeah, I wish that my controller looked like that. It doesn't. The A and B and 
X and Y buttons are swapped for some reason. And like, I guess I could actually, can I? Right. <laughs> How stupid of me. Uh, Y was what I was looking for. Can I edit these in any way? I cannot. So get fucked. I was about to say I could just switch the, um, the A and B buttons. But no. I can't. The game said these are the controls and you cannot change them. So get used to it. Alright. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy to be back in farm sim land. This game is so cute. Sorry, I'm getting a drink. I haven't actually, like, stopped since I got up this morning. Oh god, it's a little, but I don't think that's their fault. I think I'm just not used to playing this kind of game with a controller. So it's like it's a little, I'm sure I'll get used to it. So first off, these crops need harvesting. You could be in for a very long journey out there. After all, you'll get to decide which island you choose to become your new home. I don't want you leaving home empty-handed and hungry. Right then, roll your sleeves up and let's get these crops harvested. Oh, and could you also grab that lily pad on the shore too? Oh, open menu. What's the menu? Is it this? The final stretch of my alchemy training begins tonight. I'd better finish up my chores before I go. Taming an enemy spirit is a quick way to win the battle. Ooh, it is a creature collector. Uh, creature collector plus farm sim equals my love. It's so cute. All right. And again, I'm. it's going to take me a little bit to get used to A and B being backwards. Oh, oh the little poppy noise. Ooh, okay. Flax flower. Stone fruit. Oh, the, the lily pad counted as a... Let's go over the basics again. Lesson one. Useful plants. Remember what I taught you. Flax is good for taming spirits. That's the one that looks like the little purple flowers. Stone fruit, this big round lad, is best for restoring stamina. And lily pads have healing properties. They taste awful, though. All these plants are spring crops, so keep an eye out for useful plants in other seasons. Good job! Lesson 2. Harvesting seeds. You'll need seeds to grow more of the same plant. If you want to get seeds, you, need to, you have to cut down the plant. Use your scythe to harvest seeds from any plant, even wild ones. Come over here and harvest the seeds in this plot. Okay, my, my scythe is left trigger. But I, I don't want to. Okay. I, yeah, I, I got it. I. Yeah. Use it. Oh wait, wait. Wasn't my use tool a different button? It's just selecting. Oh, harvest seeds X. Got it. Nicely done. Now take this hoe and use it to dig a hole. When you've dug a hole, you can plant these seeds in it. You can also use the holes that are already here if you don't want to make new ones, I suppose. Ah, oh, Stardew Valley, hello.
No, no, left trigger, that's what I wanted. Oh, okay, got it. We're learning. And it's mostly me learning how to deal with this controller. <laughs> I did it. Perfect. Now, once those seeds are planted, you have to tend to them to help them grow. Here, take this watering can and give those seeds a drink. Drink. Um. Wait. There we go. Drink. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, going top down with the controller is not gonna be something I, I have to. I'm used to like when I do mouse and keyboard. I'm like, I I usually go like top down like this, <laughs> and I have to learn not to do that. Still learning how to walk. Beautifully done. Lesson three, growing plants. Remember, crops need to be watered every day. If not, they'll wither and die and you'll lose all your hard work. Of course, you can always hope for a rainy day to do the job for you. But stay there a tick. There's something else I want you to have. You see, I've been raising three spirits in secret. They still need plenty more training, but they'll be strong enough to keep you safe. You might have seen this before. It's your mother's medallion. It's a sort of portal to a pocket dimension where spirits can reside. This medallion is yours now, and I've put the spirits I've been training in here already. Pop into the medallion and choose one to have as your companion. Oh, I'm so excited. I love creature collectors. So this is literally just the creators were like, we love Pokemon and we love Stardew Valley. We're going to smash them together and make a game. It isn't a test. Don't worry. They're all good. <gasps> oh, look at you. View cards and stats. Capacity, electric. The first time Capacity falls to zero HP, its HP is restored to 10. Oh, what is this? Bash. Oh, is it like cards instead? Okay. Oh, I don't know which one is my favorite. Okay. Oh, I I I love the dinosaur, but we'll look at the Oop oh, shit. Sheep. It's oh, it's a sheep. It looks like a beaver. Or like a rat. It looks a little too human with those ears and standing on its back. It's making me a little uncomfortable. Fireball. Anytime sheep takes fire damage, it applies burn equal to its power to a random enemy. Fireball. Burn. Okay. Anklo. Anklo automatically gains one rage every three turns. Drop kick. All right, so it's an earth type. So we have electric, earth, and fire. And I'm personally partial to the dinosaur myself. Rock throw. He's an angie dinosaur. I'm kind of into the Angie dinosaur, but I think the electric bee is cool too. Cause I do like bees. I think, I think we go with the bee, but I really like the dinosaur. I think the dinosaur is cute. 
Rock Dinosaur or Electro Bee? I think we go with a bee. Just because it goes with the aesthetic. Maybe they'll pollinate. Oh, do you think they follow me around? Pick this spirit. Hello, buddy. Okay, bye. All my other friends left me. Capacity! Great choice. I thought you might choose that one. I'm sure you would have said that no matter what I picked. I'm sure you two will take good care of each other. Don't worry about the other two. Your mother and I... Okay, so my mother's not dead. Your mother and I will take care of them. So why don't you just give me all of them, Dad? A look over there. A wild spirit. Where? This is perfect timing. Get over there and show me what you and your spirit can do. Oh, oh my god, what the heck is that? Get out of my house. Oh, oh. It's a gemlin. Oh, looks like this gemlin has higher speed than your spirit, so it go gets to take the first move. Ow! My turn. Time for your lesson four, banishing spirits. You need to subdue these spirits to pacify them. They're not supposed to be this aggressive. The most important thing to remember, armor blocks attack damage. Reduce their armor to zero to make them dizzy and deal extra damage. You can reduce armor in two ways, using a card that removes armor or attacking them with an element they're weak to. Try using bash to remove the gemlin's armor and leave it open to attack. Okay. Perfect. The bond between you and your spirit is already strong. Don't forget, if you remove your opponent's armor to zero, it will get dizzy. Being dizzy makes them miss the next turn, which is your chance to deal more damage. Now you've got two energy left, so play two more cards. Oh, okay. Hmm... Now you're all out of energy. End your turn now, and let's see what this wild spirit does. Oh. Wait, hold on. Sorry. Ow! This thing hurts. Oh dear. That looked like it hurt. Just to be safe, you should heal your spirit. Remember I told you that lily pads were good for healing? Use the feed action and feed a lily pad to your spirit now. There you go. Your spirit is looking much healthier. Looks like Gemlin is about to use Earthquake on you, though. With the right moves, you might be able to stop that from happening. Now use another Bash card to bring the Gemlin's armor to zero. Get rid of that armor and you'll make them dizzy so they can't attack. Thanks for spelling that out for me. I, I thought they were just going to leave it, but they were like, now we're just going to tell you. Oh, brilliantly done. Nice work. Now you've got the upper hand. Damage dealt to a spirit with no armor is much higher than usual. Bring its HP to zero and banish it to the great beyond. Oh. Well, I can't. Oh my god, I keep hitting, I keep thinking that X is Y. fruit. Great work. One more thing. Lesson 4.5, I suppose. Spirits can be tamed and brought into your medallion. Tame a spirit and you can use it in future battles. Remember to have flax on hand for taming spirit. For taming, spirits love it. What do I do now, Dad? 
Do, do you send me out into the... Oh, hi, Mom. You don't... I mean, I guess you kind of look like me. Sweetheart, are you done out there? Come back to the house. I have something else to give you before you go. Out on your grand adventure. Ooh. Oh, look at the ins. Oh, there's plants everywhere. Oh, our house is beautiful. A little gramophone, or I don't know what this is called. Oh, I'm crying. I was like, what are those little sparkly things? I think I'm crying. Oh, we sad. Oh, I, I picked up. Hi, mom. I picked up a flower for you. You look wiped out. Did your father have you banishing spirits for him? Of course he did. I'll make you a cup of tea, you poor thing. Why don't you eat one of those stone fruit you harvested to gain back some of your energy? Am I tired? Oh, I was sweating. Never mind. False alarm. We were, I think we were sweating. I thought we were crying. <laughs> oh, God, that was very loud. Why was that one so loud? I don't even see where my stamina bar, like, is. How do I know if I'm low on stamina? Is it just when I start crying? That's better. Now that your dad's done with you, I want to tell you about the medallion he gave you. The medallion used to be mine, and now we're passing it down to you. Your moonstone medallion is a sacred tool invested, invented by alchemists that came before us. Within it lies a pocket dimension that can house up to three spirits. The spirits you keep in this medallion will come to your aid should you need help. You can also build a barn to house them in, which I think is a lot cozier. I know this is all a bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Looks like that fight you had earlier got you enough experience. Why don't you try leveling up one of your spirits? You can do that by entering your medallion. While you're in there, feed them this Nimbus plant too. It'll make them strong for your journey tonight. You're sending me out in the middle of the night? Monster? Uh, oh wait, hold on. What am I doing? Wait, hold on. Oh, X. Oh, wow. Trippy. Hey! Um, I'm supposed to give you this. Oh, can I feed Nimbus plant? Oh, little hearts. Okay. Um, exit and then select and level up. Choose a stat to upgrade. Okay. Um, armor, speed. Vitality attack. Hmm. You're a you're a B, so you should be fast. Ooh, choose a card to add to the deck. Look at the top three cards of your discard pile. Choose one to hand to add to your hand. Choose two cards to exhaust. Choose one card from your discard pile to add it to your hand. Shuffle your discard pile into your draw pile. I think we do that one, right? Because, like, like the discard pile. I think. I don't know. Hi, buddy. Look at you. Bye. I love you. Thank you for doing that. Your father is all about the fighting, but you have to take care of your spirits, too. Now your spirit should have the strength they need to keep you safe. Oh, I can't believe you're leaving home today. Uh-oh, mom's crying. That means we cry. I can't believe you're leaving home today. I'll miss you so much. But you'll only be gone for a year, right? Then you'll have completed your alchemy training. I'm so proud of you. Are you sure you're ready to go? Yeah. Spend a year away from home. All right, then. This is it. 
Next time I see you, you'll be a fully fledged alchemist. Why are you sending me out at night time? This is one last gift for you, kid. I made you these tools. They're not much, but they'll get you started out there. I give your dad a hug. We're both so proud of you. Hammer, axe, broom, alchemist tent. Here's a few seeds from your garden. I've been saving them for you. Plant them as soon as you settle in, okay? You'll need them for your big journey. Just remember, we'll be with you wherever you are, wherever you decide to call home. And we love you so much. And I'm so proud to see you following in our footsteps, sweetheart. You're gonna make a great alchemist. Remember, all alchemists share a love of things that grow. That applies not only to your crops, but also to the people around you. Oh, my darling, I'm so excited to see you grow, too. What, to see who you grow into. Just promise me you'll be safe out there. The world is changing, becoming more dangerous. I'll do my best. Oh, you sound just like your father. I'm just going to have to trust you. Well, the wind is starting to pick up. I guess it's time for me to let you go. Time for the final lesson. Charge that broom up, then release its energy to catch the wind. Be safe, okay? We love you. Wait, I can... Fly? Whoa! Look at me! Generating world. <gasps> oh, it's... Is it like Minecraft too, where it's like procedurally generated? Oh, there's no way, right? There's no way they put Minecraft here too. What's that light over there? Oh, there's a town off in the distance. Finally, I hope they need an alchemist. Because I really need to get off this broom. I think I'm getting splinters. Wow, this wind is really getting strong. Is it supposed to be this hard to stay on the broom? Oh no, I think I'm losing control. How do you land this thing? We're going down. Ow. <laughs> oh, he is with me. Oh no. And there goes my brand new broom. Ugh. Uh, and I dropped the tools dad gave me and mom's seeds. I guess I'm not leaving here anytime soon. I hope this isn't a bad omen. I better look around and see if I can find the tools and seeds I dropped. Thank you for purchasing our DLC. You can find your exclusive craftable items in the decoration station and the moonstone enchanter. Okay. I didn't, but... <laughs> Thank you for purchasing... Oh, it's... Oh, oh my god, that looks so cute. Thank you for purchasing our DLC. Oh, I guess I should have... Harvest... Do I have any tools at all? No, I've got the watering can in my... I somehow held onto the watering can. Um, is it like Pokemon where like I find things in the... grass, like the tall grass, or are they always in the overworld? I'm assuming they're in the overworld. Oh, okay, so it shows me where I've been. Perfect. Because I wouldn't remember.
Oh. What's that? New item discovered. Moonstone. It was like glowing. Green gemstone. Oh. <laughs> I fell asleep. Try to get to bed before 2 a.m. What do you mean? Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> Monday, spring one. Dungeons cleared, 0 30. Oh, look at this little. Look at this little screen. She's so cute. A little cat. Oh. My progress has been saved. Oh. You're up. Are you okay? I saw you dropped out of the sky last night. Then I found you passed out on the grounds. So I got Quill to carry you here, and I was worried you weren't going to wake up, but you did. I guess with that getup, you must be a new alchemist. How exciting! Or a new stunt performer. Anyway, you can stay in the spare room if you need somewhere to crash. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't have said crash. That's really insensitive, isn't it? I mean, you can sleep here, if you want. I have to change- I have to charge rent eventually, though. Oh, and I think these are your tools? I'll just leave them here for you. I found them scattered all over the place. I hope it's okay that I picked them up. You're so incredibly generous, ma'am. Maybe you could get your tent set up on the north side of town if you clear space for it. Don't be afraid to chop down trees and cut the grass if you need to. Then you'll have a place all to yourself. I guess you could set it up on one of the outer islands, but there are wild spirits out there. I think maybe you should take it easy for the time being. Anyway, take your time getting up. You seem pretty bruised up, and I don't think anything's broken. I might have some work for you too, so come downstairs when you're ready. Did you find my bee? So my bee seems to be missing. Oh, I found my tent. Um, right, what one was the, was it Y? Yeah. A mystical stone that emits magical energy it glows at night. Sells for 500 money? I'm rich. What do I need to be an alchemist for? A shiny thing that exists purely to be sold for coin. Every Friday night, everyone in town meets at the tavern. Okay. Um. Raising your spirit's power stat will make their attacks do more damage. <laughs> I should use my tools to clear a spot and set up my tent, then explore the island and see if I can find any moonstones. Mom told me they glow at night, and there's usually just one stone on any given island. Well, I already, I already found it on accident. Place a spirit egg in a nest inside a spirit burn to hatch it. Spirit research. Relationships. <gasps> Can I date someone? Ooh, where, where's my hot goth boy? And I can save. Yeah, okay. You're not good enough friends to enter their bedroom. Fair enough, to be honest. Wow, this is really big. Hi. I'm trying to face you. Hello. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Asano, and I run the tavern here on Moonstone Island. Come on by anytime. Well, anytime we're open, I mean. Oh, I've got something for you. It's a crafting recipe for a cell crate. Build one and place it wherever you get set up. You can drop anything you want to sell in there, like crops or items. I'll pick it up at the end of the day and pay you for everything that's in there. If you want more recipes, you'll have to find them, I'm afraid. I hear mines and dungeons are a good place to start. Oh, and one more thing. Can I ask you a quick favor? I also need some stone to repair some minor basement damage. Don't ask. If you have time, could you bring me some? I kind of want to ask, but sure. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Just put the stones in the cell crate and I'll pick it up. 
ask her on a date. No, uh, but I. Ooh. Wow, Jesus! A cup of coffee is three hundred money. Sheesh. Increases your speed by 10% for one day. Doesn't stack. Decreases walk speed by 10%. Fancy grape juice. Whatever Asana feels like making today. Effects may vary. That's cool. But 400 bucks for... Where'd all my cap my money go? I had like 100 money. Can I give you a gift? All right. All right, back to work for me. You have a lovely place, though, I have to say. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you again. Hmm, weird outfit. You must be the new alchemist. I'm... Guyana? I work in the conservatory. If you don't mind, I have somewhere to need to be. I want to talk to you. Oh. I failed. Okay. I failed three seventy percents in a row. Bye. I'm wasting all my time that I have. sweetheart your dad thinks i'm silly for writing a letter so soon after you left but i had a horrible dream that you broke your broom i would never forgive myself if anything happened to you i'm sure you're fine but i left you a crapping recipe for a balloon in case you're not don't be afraid to build bridges if flying is too scary when your dad was a new alchemist he only used bridges to get between islands i hope you're doing all right sweetie love mom mom i've been gone for like six hours how did you even know Talk about overbearing parents. Oh, I probably should. I, I need to remember I need to harvest some things. Can you harvest? Okay. Oh, wait, no, no. I don't want, I don't want a hoe. I want the scythe. Ah, there we go. Harvest seeds. Lily pad seeds. Oh, you can. Do you? Do they only have to? How did I get here? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Get out of here, grass. It's a nice place. I uh, love it. Hmm. Where do I want? To stake my claim on the ooh, right outside the wizard's tower, maybe. Uh, okay. Moonstone mail. Congratulations on your subscription to Mailco and your ownership of a brand new mailbox. You can now receive letters through the mailboxes in your town and even craft your own. A letter from the Alchemist Guild. Congratulations on your first day as a new alchemist. Please remember that you are now representative of the Alchemist Guild. The following misdeeds will lead to disciplinary action or expulsion from the guild. Giving flying equipment to untrained citizens, throwing spirits off islands. Oh, that's horrible. Eating spirits, forming an army of spirits to overthrow a government. Good luck with your year in training. Do you, has that happened before? Because that seems like a pretty... Oh, you wanted stone. Do I... Is it like the little stone? Hold on. God. Uh, no. An axe. A hammer. Okay. Blech. I shouldn't destroy your own property. The rock is a property? Okay. I will not destroy the intentionally placed rock, I guess. Ooh. Oh, what's this? Hold to activate. Choose a talisman. 
Feed to a spirit to remove a card from their deck. Feed to a spirit to upgrade a card from their deck. Feed to a spirit to add a new card to their deck. Ooh, I like upgrading, so. Buddy, okay, gotta. Hi, I'm just walking into everybody's house. What time is it? It's two. Can I get the time in non-military? Is everything okay? You're not good enough friends. But you just kind of left your food out on the table. This is like the house of someone who got kidnapped. Also, I noticed that my bee doesn't come into the houses with me. Nobody, he nobody's here. Nobody's anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'm just entering people's homes. This game is so pretty. <gasps> Hello, you're new. Hello, Rowan. Oh, hi, you're new. Welcome to Moonstone Island. I run the shop here, and I can help you with supplies and stuff. Oh, and I'm Rowan. Sorry. Let me know if I can help you settle in. Oh. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I talked to you already today and failed chatting with you three times somehow. It's, this is a house, it's not a bedroom. Okay, so it's four in the afternoon and you've left your post of the shop. This is very Stardew Valley. Oh, hello, nerd. Oh, hello, you must be that new alchemist everyone's talking about. I've always wanted to see an alchemist regalia in real life. Wow, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Zed, I run the Science Center. You should drop by when you've seen a few spirits. I'd love to talk research with you. Oh, before I forget, one more thing. It just so happens that I was recently awarded a grant to study the spirits that inhabit the, out the, inhabit the outer islands. It's pretty dangerous work, and let's just say I'm more of a labs kind of scientist. So if you're up for it, I was thinking we could help each other out. I need you to tame a spirit. Any spirit. I'm not picky. You see, I can't do the dangerous field work like you can, but I can handle the boring academic bits. As a thank you, I'll have Paolo draw up some blueprints for a spirit barn, which you can use to house spirits. And you'll get a credit on the paper, too. Okay. Nice. See ya. Okay. Oh, I, I never went into the blacksmiths because I got distracted by a person. I'm looking for my future husband already. I'm like, which one? Which one of you is going to be the one that I stalk until you love me? Oh, she has a tattoo like me. Ah, uh, the alchemist. Asana told me you'd arrive in style. I'm Ophelia. A, though you might hear some people call me Lena, too. I'm the botanist. Oh, my God. She's perfect. Also, I have a... One second. Good morning. Have a good day. She, she looks like me. She's got a little... A little flower tattoo, and she's the town botanist. I love her already. I just wish she was a little prettier. I'm the botanist in town. I whip up cures for what ails them. I suppose you'll be doing that, too. Look at that smile. Take care. Bye. Did I? Yeah, I did, and nobody was in. Just nobody's doing their jobs the carpenters empty blacksmith is empty Ooh, is it the, is this the greenhouse <gasps> oh i want to take your job monstera plant oh i love your your little house Ooh, what's that over there excuse me What's this? 
What was this? Warp whistle. What does that do? Um. God, I can't ever remember what my buttons are. Is it? No, it's Y. Okay. Uh. A cattail. What did I? Oh, Rowan is a they, them. That's cool. Where, where's the, the, oh, is it a tool? Oh, it is. What does it do? Teleports you back to Moonstone Island once per day. Oh. Okay. Well, it's nighttime and I didn't get anything done. Who are you? Have I talked to you? I have not. Oh, it's you. The new alchemist, right? What day is it? It's Tuesday. Oh, that's actually... It is Tuesday. You're cuter than I thought you'd be. I was imagining some old guy with a beard. Look, well, I got you here. Have you stumbled across any mines yet? They tend to be hidden under big rocks, so try to break some open with your hammer. But not the rocks in town. Those are protected, and the feeling will kill you. And then just climb down the ladder into the dark. What could go wrong? Anyway, the reason I ask is because I need some copper ore. Bring me that, and I'll teach you how to make ingots. Ingots, okay? Ingots. <laughs> I'll even pay you full price for the ore. Win-win. Sounds fun. Why well, gotta end on a bad note, man? See you around. Well, it's getting dark, so I guess... Oh, we didn't really make it very far. Did I wake up at like two in the afternoon or something? Uh, are these the rocks that you need? Are these considered protected rocks? No, this is wrong. I have to get to bed by... What time is it? Alright, I have to get to bed by... Oh, that was an accident. Well, I'm here now. Blueprint for a torch. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. Oh, there's my stamina. Okay, I see. So I do have stamina restrictions. Oh, hey, everyone. I think I've met you all already. Ooh, I haven't met you. Who are you? Oi. Hi. Ah, uh, yes, yes. You're the alchemist. I'm Paolo, and I do the carpentry work around here. Do you? Because nobody seems to do their jobs here. I'm sure you've met some of the others in town already. Is everyone treating you well? We don't get newcomers that often. Why do I always fuck up the last thing? Take care. Bye. Uh, I need to find the tavern so I don't pass out in the street again. I think it's over here. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, 
Hi. Those clothes, you're an alchemist. I'm so glad you've arrived at last. Perhaps a little behind schedule, but no matter. You're here now. I'm Cleo, and I'm the Moonstone's resident historian and scholar. Any question you have, come to me first. Farewell. Well, hey. At least I uh, brought it back at the end there. I'm ready to go to bed. I didn't find a place to stay. Sorry. Oh, wait. Did I talk to you? My mom used to tell me about these incredible creatures called guardians. Apparently, they were built by people in the old kingdom to protect something. She said it was places of worship, but sometimes she said it was treasure. Maybe it was both. Um. Can I give you a gift of stone? Or... Oh, thanks for this. You don't... <laughs> well, we did our best. Alright, back to work for me. Rent a room for the night. 50 coins? You said I wouldn't have to pay rent yet. Shit, well... I guess... Gonna have to go find a place to put my alchemist thing down because she's fucking killing me on rent. Oh, it's raining today. It's 6 a.m. It's raining, I can hear it. Oh, look at the, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Asano's newsletter for people who are new in town, issue one. Hello, Asano here. Welcome to Moonstone Island. This is a newsletter that automatically goes out to everyone who moves here, like you. Step one of settling in. Get to know your new neighbors. Some people might even have jobs for you, which is great, because then you can get money to spend at the tavern. That's all for issue one of Asano's newsletter. Stay tuned for more. XOXO, Asano. Meet the locals. Okay, so the the alert that I got was for Okay, so where do I want to settle? Cuz I'm usually like kind of a go off into a corner type of person. Ooh. Seeds. So like I think up here looks nice. So I think... No. Incorrect. Okay. Yep. This controller is a little unwieldy, but I think that's more the controller's fault than the game's fault, but it's hard to tell. I haven't played any other games on this controller. I mean, I guess I could use the wired-in controller and see if it, like, still feels a little unwieldy. These trees out of my face. Alright, we're starting to get the hang of switching between different controls a lot better. Because it was a little clunky at the start, but again, that I don't think that's the game's fault. I think that is my fault because I didn't realize when I bought this controller that the A, B, and X, and Y buttons were all backwards to each other. Like how they would usually be. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. 
What, what's happening? Me mallet. Oh, I'm, I'm standing in front of a tree with a hammer, like, as I'm talking about how I'm getting better with this. Swapping between controls and things. Ooh, I'm getting tired. Can't stop yet. We need to clear this. And then I want to clear these two things. And then I can put my tent down. Oh, no. No, no, no. There we go. Again, those backwards controls getting me. Or those backwards, uh... Buttons. It's not the controls that are backwards. The controls are correct. I know, I know. That's it. Right. And then... Oh, um... Yeah. Right, I want to put my... Yes. Right on the edge. Perfect. Once you've placed your home, you can't pick it up until you craft another one. Are you sure? Yes. Yay! Alright, um... And then... I think we need this button. And... I want, yes, this, and, ooh, can't make that until I make iron. Cell crate. Oh, shit. I did that thing again. Oh. I didn't mean to eat that. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Moonstone Enchanter. Okay, there we go. Cell crate. Put it right here. Use. I don't know if we're supposed to sell the moonstone or keep them. Because it says there's only one moonstone per island, and I don't know if that means... Oh, for fuck's sake. That's like, here's your money for this iron, or this island. Wow, I was looking at the word iron and confused myself. Okay, yeah, that's another thing that we should do. We should... First, we should know... We should eat this. That's the only sound so far that I've been like, why, why that sound? Uh, all right. So I want a scythe. Is it a scythe that I want? No, it's a hoe that I want. Eh, there we go. And we'll begin. No, help. Oh, is it because why? Ah, okay. It's probably because it's like on the edge there. Okay. Lily pan seed. Oh, they must be planted in water. Perfect, then. That That is water. That, oh, no, this is the sky. This is water. We are floating on an island, idiot. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Do you think you need to water lily pad seeds? I would assume not, right? Hold on. Stone fruits. All right. Plants. Plant. Oh, why did I make it six by six? Um, all right. Uh, what do you think my inventory button is? 
it. Oh. oh. Damn it. Right, there we go. Um, oh, right trigger is drag. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, really, this doesn't need to be on my hot bar, because... Okay. Exit. Then, yeah. Uh, plants. Plants. Okay. Oh, I have more. There we go. Now I'm done. Okay. Um... Well, we've got a little bit of our stamina back, so we can continue to clear this stuff out. I love how they were like, go and meet your neighbors, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna go to a corner of the map. And I'm chopping down trees, because that's what I always do in these games. Like, Stardew Valley, I love Stardew Valley. Um, one of the things that I never did in Stardew Valley was go and talk to the villagers, because it was like, I, I've got work to do. I don't have time to go and talk to people. I have so many things, like, trees to chop down. I have rocks to clear, I've got plants to water, like, I just, I don't have time to socialize. And that's really what it's like in real life, too. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have time. Oh, I didn't, well, I didn't mean to do that, but that was what I needed to do. Yeah, yeah, you're tired. I get it. We don't have time to be tired. We have work to do. Do you see these weeds? They're not going to chop themselves down, girl. Look at me, just getting my little place all together. No, nope, not a mallet for the trees. We don't have time to be tired. Get to work. All right. I suppose. I'm getting pretty exhausted. Well, as I said, I suppose we can harvest this so that we can eat it. So that we can continue to harvest. <laughs> The grind of life. It's like, what is? It's like 8 p.m. Why, why is it? I mean, I guess it gets dark out at 8 p.m. in the spring, but...
Hmm. I haven't explored any of this yet. Still haven't found like a wild spirit. Maybe there aren't any on Moonstone Island. Because I think they were like, you have to go to one of the outer islands to research this thing for me. Ooh, there's... Ooh. What is here? Oh, somebody lives here. You're a hermit like me? Ooh. I don't know what that is. Ooh, is another one of those things? Okay, I should go and... Oh! Look at you guys. Right. Who lives over here? Oh. How do I get over there? Look at this nice little pathway. Hi, guys. Hello. The web the it's raining, Ruin. Hello, Ophelia. Make sure you don't pick all the local flora, all right? Leave some for me. Bye. What is this? Oh, it's like a, oh, it's like a hot spring. <gasps> I need to recoup my energy a little faster than this. But this is nice. A little hot spring to replenish your stamina very slowly. <laughs> Neat, like in-game hours you would have to spend in that. Okay. Um, collect this and then run home. Because it's midnight and I gotta get home by 2 a.m. Or else I pass out outside and they probably charge me for healthcare. Oh god. It's on the other side. Time doesn't pass too quickly in this game, though, so. Oh, wait, I wanted to sell a thing. Oh, God. I know, I'm getting there. Uh, yes, I wanted to sell. Wait, oh, I understand. I understand what I did. Okay. And then I wanna. Oh, I should really. Do I have any space? I have enough for the flax seeds. Nope, nope, nope. X. There we go. All right. And then uh, my oh, he probably goes into the medallion. <laughs> I can't plant them. My chest. Um. What do I use fiber for? Cloth. Okay. I'm gonna put the moonstone in there because I'm just like, I don't know what to do with this right now. If the answer isn't just, um... Oh, what the heck? What are you? What? What was that? There's a ghost in my house, and I just don't care. <laughs> oh, look at my cute little sleeping outfit. Items sold. Getting that money. Selling the gemstones. So cute. Oh, I forgot my headphones. Life is suffering. Oh, no. Everybody's at the office today. Bull's at the office. My other two roommates, Sebastian and Jericho, are... Well, I mean, they're always at the office during the day, but... They're not here. Pedro and Anzi are at the office today. I'm just alone. Alone with my little farm sim. 
Oh, look how beautiful it is. And I have to spend time watering plants. My least favorite thing to do. Oh god, I missed one. Dink, dink. At least I don't have to refill. It looks like I don't have to refill the watering can. That was so tedious. That was like an, one of the few complaints I ever had about Stardew Valley. I was just like, really, dude? You're gonna make... Did the screen just shake? You're gonna make me refill my watering can all the time? Ugh. Yeah, I can just collect stuff now because I've gotta, I'm like gonna keep the, continuously repopulate the plants using the seeds that I have home. Alright, how do I make... No, that's not what I wanted. This is... No, that's not what I wanted either. I wanted this. Yes. Bridge. Uh, craft. And I hit B again! Oh, this is so tedious. Alright, um... I made it to the thing. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm supposed to be using A. Uh, I'll do that one. Feed to a spirit. I should go into my, ta wait, hold on. I know this talisman. Oh God, help. Eh, there we go. Okay. Uh, select. Transfer, let go. No. Feed. Oh, deal four electric damage. And oh, that's so good. Ooh. Or remove armor by two. Ooh. I think we upgrade the bash. Because... Getting rid of two armor. So good. Okay, choose a card to upgrade. Uh, do I see what they'll turn? Oh, okay, I can't see. Okay. So three charge. Eight. I don't. What does charge do? I don't know. Six damage. Or four damage. So. That will deal eight damage, but it's two energy, and that'll deal six damage, which is one energy. So I think we should upgrade the tackle, even though it's not electric. I just wish I knew what charge did. I don't know if upgrading that is good. Apply three charge. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Tackle plus. Bye. Nice. All right. Oh, were these here before? Um. All right. I'm gonna go into this, whatever this is. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's just so pretty. Look at that art, man. Oh, this game is so pretty looking. I just wish there was some music here. The music would be perfect. Is time counting down right now? Because now I mean, it is. All right, hold on. I think if I... No, that's not what I wanted. I think if I do that, time will pause. I will be right back. I'm going to go see if I can't scrounge up something very quick to eat, like a granola bar or something. If you're hanging out and you're lurking, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. This game is so cute.
I love it. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. I found a granola bar and I put in something in the microwave. So I'm starving. Right, I realize uh, she, uh, Asana mentioned Quill. I haven't met them and I haven't met Tobin. And I hope we, I hope Quill or Tobin are hot because if they're, they're not slim pickings on the male side, we might have to romance Ophelia. Oh, okay. In order to give them their things, I have to put them in the cell box. That makes sense, because I think that's how it was in Stardew Valley, too. I have to find... Sure. 
What was that all about? Oh, it's because of the wind? What is happening? My controls are getting all weird. It, like, wasn't letting me... It was almost like it was delayed, which, you know, I don't think should be possible. It could be maybe the Bluetooth thing, or maybe it had to do with the wind? That was a little strange on my end. Oh, okay. All right, so I definitely have 20 stone and 10. Did the screen just shake? What's going on? have any seeds of these, so... I don't know what they do either, so... I want to put down a bridge so that I don't have to walk all the way around. But not there. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I just can't be asked to walk all the way around. So where the heck is everyone? Everybody at work? Oh, are you Quill? You are Quill. You're the new mechanic. I mean, no, what was it? Alchemist, Alchemist. We haven't had one before, so I might forget the word again. Nice to meet you. Okay, you've got the same. So you and Asana. It's almost the weekend. I don't know what that does. Is that like increasing my hearts with her? I'm completely unsure. Oh, I can't, oh thank God I can't afford it because I did not mean to try to buy it. I love, I love how I'm running around everywhere uh, with the, uh, with, like, a bridge over my head. So I need to, so Quill wasn't hot, unfortunately, and I never, oh wait, this is the, this is not a wizard tower, it's the conservatory. Hello, dork. Nice to meet you, again. Oh, look at that. Not a wizard tower, it's a conservatory. Hmm. Hello, Cleo. So where's the last person? Nobody's home. Nobody's home. Can't go in there. Oh, you're finally doing your job. I only sell seeds. Growth fertilizer, flax seeds, stone fruit, cattail. Well, I can get all those in the wild, so. Um, talk. one whatever that is so can I see if like for me yeah so it won't tell me what he likes so or what anybody likes which is unfortunate just tell me so I can see don't make me look it up <laughs> it's just a waste of time oh you know what you should make sure to talk to Cleo more. She knows everything about these islands. I bet she could help you on your alchemist mission. Nice. Oh. Oh, okay. I apparently talked to you already today. I do. 
So where is this last person that I need to talk to? Because I've already met the carpenter. <laughs> You're good at making nice beds. Is that a bad attempt at flirting with me? Hasta luego. Okay, so Spanish is canonical in this universe. What is this? Admire. Oh. Well, I guess the best way is that if everybody in town gathers on Friday, then... Oh, I thought... I'll keep an eye out. I don't... I wasn't reading because I thought it was just skippable, so... Also, I thought that the, um... That Ophelia was the... Hello, Mr. Altab! How are you today? I thought that Ophelia was the botanist, so... Hello, speaking of... I sincerely hope it rains tomorrow. It rained yesterday. How many days in a row do you want it to rain? Well, this is a... Do you like... Lily pads? Thank you. Okay. Oh, what is this magnificent store? Oh, well, I think I found the last person to talk to. Yep. Oh, okay. Ah, you're from... You're the come from away, aren't you? Welcome, welcome. We've been waiting such a long time. I'm... I'd offer to make you tea, but me kettle's broke. Oh, where's my manners? I'm Tobin. T-O-B-I-N. Eyes the buys. Eyes the buy who catches the fish, as they say. Oh, my God. Lovely to meet you. Oh, I've got a little request for you. I heard you've been helping people out all over. See, I've heard tales of rare fish living in the most distant islands. I'd love to see them someday. If you catch any, could you sell them to me? I'll put them all in my trophy case for all to see. Anything for you, Tobin. Not a single hot guy in this whole fucking island. Lame. I'm taking your lily pads and I'm leaving. Who am I gonna romance? I mean, I guess I'm gonna romance Ophelia. Unless there's like the equivalent of like, okay, this house obviously doesn't belong to you. It has a book in it. So who lives here? Can I like, is there like a map? Hold on. Hmm. I can't tell. Hold on. There's one more button I could potentially... Ophelia... I mean, I've talked to everybody in town, I think. Not a single hot guy between any of them. Oh, Paolo's they them as well. That's interesting. Rowan and Paolo are both. There's only, like, three guys, like, you know, gendered as male, strictly. And that's Zed, who's a dork, Rowan, who's a dork, and Tobin, who's a dumb... Where's my hot, smart librarian? I'm like... Author. How, also, how did you get a giant fish statue on the top of your... House. All right, well, oh, also, is that this island? What does this map look like? 
again. I just looked at it, but not not this map. This map. Hmm. Well, I don't think that it's. on this island because it doesn't look like any of the islands are on here or like I, I don't know what I'm talking about it doesn't look like anything hmm. all right well back to work Um, I think my hut's up here. Yeah, you can tell because I've cleared it all. I was getting better, and now I feel like I've regressed. And I feel like the last slot's going to be a fishing bowl. And I'm surprised I didn't get one from talking to the fishermen. Oh, God. Um, I can go and chop down some stone for a minute, I guess. I could just go to bed, I suppose. Oh, where did the... Wasn't there a... like an exit to a dungeon, like literally right near my house? I've lost it. It's gone forever. I don't remember. I thought it was right there, but can't remember. All right, so need to sell 20 stone and I think Ten? Oh, I don't have enough copper ore yet. Yeah, so never mind. And then what did everybody else want? Ooh, sword? <gasps> the best button in existence. Alright, um... Why? Okay. Ooh, I can make... Oh, yes. Fly. All right. Um. Oh, wait. No, there's definitely a fishing mini game. Hold on. There's a fishing mini game for sure because it at in the um. Uh. In the options, it was like, "What difficulty do you want the fishing mini game to be?" And I was like, "Uh, easy." Hmm, interesting. Okay. What was I doing? Um, I was looking at my journal to see if anybody had anything else. I crafted a balloon. Can't do that. Oh, okay. Nightshade seeds. Ooh, we can actually... Ooh, there's actual things. They're probably just not on this island. Nightshade, Mandrake, Nimbus, Bolt, Fire Flower, Hot Pepper, Spirit Bane, Bloodroot, Magic Mushroom, Yarrow. Sell Copper Ore at the Smithy. Okay, so I have to fish a Moonstone quality Blobfish, Sparkstar, and Cinderfish on a... What the heck are these islands? All right. All right, go to bed. It's midnight. I'm exhausted. Um... I don't go to bed yet. Uh, is there anything? I don't understand this map, so you know what? You can have it. Boost the speed of a spirit can be reharvested. Uh -huh. Okay. Got it. Alright, let's 
go to bed. Two cute little jammies. It's raining again? God, it rains a lot on this island. It rained like the day before yesterday. All right, where is... Um... Where is this ladder that I found? Oh, it's down here. I just couldn't see it. Too blind, can't see. All right, well, I mean, yeah, we should finish off that ore quest then, I suppose. Oh, I got my hammer out already. It's a gem, gemlin. Sheesh. Okay, um. I don't know what charge is. Okay. So it buffs you. Yes. Wait. Oh god. I keep hitting the wrong button. to level four. Good job, buddy. I have upgraded points to spend in my medallion. Oh, wait, hold on. Good job, buddy. Level up. Um, let's do... Upgrade your armor. I'll upgrade your attack. Ooh. Draw one card. If you draw an attack card, reduce its cost to zero. Ooh. Or another tackle. I mean, that looks pretty dope, and I don't have one of those in the deck yet, so. Ooh. Oh, fancy spin. Draw all vault cards from your draw pile into your hand. Ooh. Cool. Uh, I do love the look of the fancy spin card. Look, look at that. Look at that art. It looks so good. The lightning rod, though. Draw all Volt cards. I think we go with the fan. I, I want to do... Uh, I think we do that one. Even though the other one looked cool. Is he not following me? My bee. Nope. Nope. Wrong one. There we go. Oh God. I'm trapped. Oh my god. Alright, fine. I just... <laughs> I just want to get to that copper ore. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's a chest over there. No, no. I want this one. There we go. season. Yeah, okay. They're just decorative. Ooh! Decoration station! What's that do? Hold on. Wait. Okay, there we go. Where's my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moonstone ing... Yeah, why am I saying it like ignorant? <laughs> also, that's what you do with the moonstone. Okay. Oh, wait, that's a moonstone enchanter. That's not what... But you can also... Okay. Used to craft decorative items for the house. Ooh. Decoration station. Cool. Okay. Um, and then no... I'm g I will get used to this eventually, I'm sure. It's very disorienting, and I'm genuinely thinking, as much as I love my wireless controller, because I love having the controller be wireless, the fact that the buttons are backwards... Oh, I got iron. Oh, this is iron! Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought it was just rocks. <laughs> It's only 11 o'clock, girl. Eat your food. God, I need more of those. <laughs> yeah, this is iron. I just, I don't know why my brain was just like, no, that's not iron. That's just rocks. <laughs> that means that there's a lot of ore everywhere. Did I miss any up here? Oh, I missed tons. Tons of iron I just walked right past. Alright, well, I'm gonna explore because there is actually just ore everywhere. Oh my god. <gasps> I'm uh, excuse me, Apple. I found a a fluffix! Oh, that's the that's the one in the in the image. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, okay. It just doesn't do that much. Okay. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it so much. Yes. Oh, I can't feed it while it's dizzy. Okay, uh, and turn. Oh my god, it's so cute! I can't get over it! Plus... Oh, I got a sprinkler. I bet that's a whole fuck ton of iron, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Uh, no, that's not correct. I always want to hit start to, like, go to my... I want to save, though. <laughs> um, I always want to hit start to open up my menu. 
Pokemon ruining me. Um, it was this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper and iron. Okay, so we need an equivalent of both. Oh, did the apple Pokemon leave? Oh, no, you didn't. You just left. Wormer. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it too. I love it so much. Can I just feed you? You don't have a lot of health, so. No. Plus 10 team. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Wormer! Oh, he's just a little worm and an apple. That's so cute. I don't think I actually have to hurt them in order to tame them. I think, like, I just spam the feed button. I don't think being weaker helps tame them. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it so much. Hello, Mossman. I'm playing Moonstone Island, which is Pokemon, Minecraft, Stardew Valley, all wrapped up in one. Hello, King of Midgard. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I was trying to destroy this ore, but... I just tried out Dato Grikin Koishiki Koishiki Pachi Slot Simulator Shake It 2 for the PS2. That's a lot of words, and then, so that means it's definitely Japanese. Neat little Pachislo machine? I hope I said that right. What is that? What is a Pachislo machine? Pachislo? Pachislo? Uh, Pachi slot are pachinko slot machines. Gotcha. The one armed bandits of Japan. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. The. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. The, the claw machines. I know. Oh my god, I'm real tired. Uh, do I have anything to restore my stamina? They are slot machines that usually have mini games built in. Oh. Oh no, not the claw machines. Claw machines are different. Gotcha. And you, there was like a little video game? That's pretty cool. Okay, I don't have any stamina and I don't have any... I guess I have to go back upstairs and try to find some... Uh, how do I get out of here? Nope, this is incorrect. <laughs> Most often, pachinko based minigames also there where Konami IPs go to die. Oh no. Oh, it says in the top left how many chests there are left. Okay. Oh my god, they all follow me around. I thought just one would. <gasps> oh my god, this game is so perfect. This game is perfect. I have all my little Pokemon following me around. All three of them. Well, now we got remakes. Remakes for what? Konami games? What Konami remakes are coming out? Oh my... Do you do... Oh my god. The... The apple destroys grass. I love that so much because it's less work that I have to do. <laughs> this is this is the only only spirit that I have that is paying rent. <laughs> I love it so much. 
Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 and Silent Hill 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that Metal Gear Solid 3 was getting a remake. I knew that Silent Hill was because I was... Oh, by the way, my roommates finally shared their... Um, well, I, didn't, I shouldn't say finally. It was more like we didn't know how to do it. Uh, but we finally shared our Steam libraries with each other. So the spreadsheet... I have like 200 some games to add to it between the three of us or four of us. So that's exciting. That's actually how I got Moonstone Island because one of them already had it. So I was so we set it up last night. I was looking for some wild um, I think they're called stone fruit. And of course, can't find any. So I'm just gonna have to go to bed. It's so adorable, I can't... Uh, to be honest, the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, I guess there's some hope for, I don't know, Silent Hill 2 looks rough. Why? I don't really pay... I, I'm one of those people where I don't have time to pay attention to anything, so like... I, the only time I ever know if that something is going on is if people get real upset about it on Twitter and like everybody is talking about it. Do you destroy my plants though? Is the question. Oh, look at you. You do not. You're perfect. You're actually perfect. Um, the problem is, oh, I have a, no, that's for the spirits. Hold on. What is my inventory button? Um. On. Okay. Do I have anything that I can eat? What do I need HP for? Because I don't have a health bar. For example, there are pachinko machines for Rumble Roses, Beat Mania. Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, Castlevania, Gradius, per Parodius, Twin B, Contra, Mahjong Fight Club, Bomber Girl, Genso, Soikoden. The studio making it said they are done with psychological horror are, and are embracing mass market horror right after it was announced they were making Silent Hill 2. Also, they have yet to make a single good game. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully it, uh, it gets good. Um, okay, uh, use. Yeah, I have a little bit of trouble, by the way, with my, uh, with my, uh, if I'm, like, struggling, um, it's because I, uh, the controller that I got, I did not notice the A and B and X and Y buttons are backwards from whatever like Logitech I think from like a normal controller I think this might be how Xbox controllers are I've never had a console I just know that it's backwards from Nintendo where like A is on the bottom is is on like south and B is on east um or right I guess top bottom left right and it's very confusing to me. <laughs> Nintendo does their controllers backwards. Well, those are the only ones that I know how to use. And I was using my roommate's Logitech wired controller, and that one has the A and B buttons correct. For me, these A and B buttons are backwards, and so I'm struggling. Because I just keep hitting the wrong button, because I'm just so used to. They came late to the party and by far and chose to not follow established controller schemes. Well, they're the ones that I know, so I'm a struggling over here. Uh, it's also just Silent Hill 2. Hard to explain, but the game would be difficult to really capture again. I'd say it's pretty untouchable. I think it's interesting how people like game companies decide to do remakes and they just kind of remake them in whatever weird order like I found it really strange that Silent Hill not sorry Resident Evil like 
they remade like four or three first and then two and then four and one still hasn't gotten a remake it's gotten a remaster but I would have figured you'd remake the original because that was the one that sucks the most in terms of like camera controlling and having the weird like top down like you'd think they would do that one first but all right everybody we're going to sleep why can't my why can't my spirits come in with me Actually, one was a remake. I'm thinking it like four. Like, you know how four and I think three recently got like their really amazing, completely remakes. One, I think it just looks like a remaster, but maybe also I'm not that educated, so I could be completely wrong. Obviously, because... Um Uh, you mean with the third person view instead of the fixed cameras? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how it was, yeah, yeah, not top down, but yeah, where it's locked in a singular position and you're just kind of running around like a weirdo. Not, no, I wanted to use my bed. Look at my cute jammies! Oh, so adorable. Four of 74. Make a bank, save and go to sleep. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> All right, I gotta water my plants. And I don't know what we're gonna do, because it's like my cat in real life <laughs> just following me <laughs> as I do some mate some metedious I I mixed up I mixed together monotonous and tedious work <laughs> personally one wouldn't really work in third person it'd make you feel how small the game is yeah but if they did it if they completely remade it they could make everything bigger. No. What? Talk about literally anything you want. I'm playing a farm sim. Like, talk about whatever. Uh, I love how he's just destroying the grass. I, I, that's probably not a good thing, but... Um, it's weird because you think Resident Evil 2 changed so much when remade, but it was actually quite faithful. I think they could do it. Mm. Oh? Hi, this is Asano. I heard you talk to everyone in town. Good job. If you're wondering why I'm writing to you and not just saying this in person, it's because I think the mail service is really important and we don't use it enough. Asana newsletter for people who are new in town, issue two. Hello again. This is a public service announcement that every Friday is happy hour at the tavern. All drinks are half price. Also, Ophelia tells me that I have put a disclaimer here that I technically own the tavern. I don't understand why it matters if I'm offering you cheap drinks, but I don't want to get in trouble with Ophelia, so this is a disclaimer. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean... Resident Evil is definitely a series that I want to play uh, through. I'm, the only reason why I don't want to play through one is because of the big old tarantulas in the in the mansion and how realistic and gross they look. I feel like this is not good. Hello. Try using striped paint, but I can't find it anywhere. Okay, bye, Quill. Code Veronica? Yeah, I have the Resident Evil games on the list, but... The, uh... Oh, I'll, I need to sell you. Oh, no. 
She ate something bad. All right. You wanted 10 ore. They were actually in 2 and 3, but the remakes cut the spiders. Aha, oh, I need to play the remakes. Furnace for a friend. Here, take the crafting recipe for a furnace. Nice. Oh, and if you bring me, let's see, three iron ingots, I'll teach you how to make charms, too. Sorry, I know that's a lot of stuff to dump on you, but no rush. Just trying to help a newcomer. Bye! Oh, I should talk to you, though. You're cute. Oh, thanks. I'm straight. Bye! <laughs> that's not actually true. I, I don't know what I am. Sexuality is a complex matter for me, because... I've only ever been romantically attracted to men or people that, like, I guess you would say outwardly appear male. So, like, he, him as a pronoun doesn't particularly matter to me. Um, I just am attracted to, like, outwardly presenting male people, I suppose, so. But I find women super hot. Like, everybody loves boobs, right? Including me. But I don't know if I could ever date or, like, even be sexually active with a woman. I just admire them. <laughs> Indeed, titties are amazing. Um, and I don't know if that's just because, like, because I am a woman, I can look at women and it's more of, like, an admiration thing. Or if, like, because I think that's what a lot of people, like, misconstrue in a way when, like, you know, girls are able to, like, admire boobs and they're like, oh, yeah, sure, you're straight. Look at all the boobs that you look at. And it's like, yeah, but like, women are hot, you know? They just are. All right, what am I doing? So, like, I think there are no hot guys or hot male presenting guys in this game. So I think of my romance Ophelia. People focus on labels too much sometimes. Yeah, whenever anybody asks me what my sexuality is, <laughs> I really just kind of put... <laughs> yes, <laughs> I agree. Uh, I just kind of do a shrug emoji, because, like, I don't know. To be honest. I am trying to look at the map is what I'm trying to do right now and failing because I don't remember what the buttons are because I keep trying to do the and like I wish I could rebind the buttons but you can't so I'm just oh I wanted to make a furnace bam because I wanted to craft ore can I put it in my house? <laughs> Burn my tent to the ground. Yeah. Use. Coal. Um. Hold to transfer stack. I could just do this. Oh, can I only put in one at a time? God damn it. Oh, is it, like, tutorial- tutorialing me right now? No. Okay. It is tutorial. No, it's not. Then let me hold to train- okay, maybe I just have to do this one at a time. Oh, it's so annoying. There has to be a better way to do this. Can I- oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I tried to do that and it didn't work. It's not letting me. aren't any slots. What do you mean? Okay. 
Burnus will be finished at 1531. Jesus. All right. So here's the question. If I make... Oh. What are these things? Checking out a bunch of random PS2 games right now. Nice. What are these ghosts that are coming into my room? Um, okay. So what I wanted to know is, is this like Minecraft slash... I can't make a chest yet. I need to make iron. Is this like... Um... What's it called? Um, like Minecraft and Stardew Valley, where if I press, uh, or if I put a chest down near a furnace, it will take things out and put things in. That'd be very nice. I'm trying to find something I want to stream. That'll be fun. Right, well, I mean, right. For the th a thousandth time, I have been trying to um, go to the map to see if I've uncovered everything. And I have. Okay. So, can I find other dungeons? So, I don't know what, what they constitute as big rocks. Oh, no, no, no. But basically, I'm just looking for, um, like a hole to fall into, really. And I don't know... How many... Oh, okay. The, uh, the furnace is done. Let me go back to the furnace. And collect. Oh my god. That's tedious. Alright. So hopefully that... Oh, I have a chest that exists. Hold on. I'm an idiot. Oh, I can't move it. Okay. What are these little ghosts that are popping up in my house? Am I not worried that I'll just fall through the world, though? Because, like, if I fall, if I, like, go down into these... I dig down into these, uh, like, with the, the holes with the ladders. Because I am on a floating island in the sky. And I feel like that's a quick way. To fall through the world and die. I love when PS2 games open with 10 minutes of unskippable cutscenes. I love it when I get tired and it takes 10 days to... grow the only food source. I know, I know. Just this one more rock. Okay. Can I go lay down in bed and it'll replenish my stamina? Like it did in Stardew Valley. No, I don't want to sleep for the night. Can I just... Oh my god, I can't. I don't want to go to bed already. It's so early. <laughs> it's so early. When is the furnace going to get done? 9-11. 19-11. Can't read. Apparently. Okay. Um. Well. I guess I can just. Uh. Bet it's 7 p.m. I mean. I was excited because I've had a very busy. Um. 
just like weekend. And in fact, I'll be right back and I'll talk about it when I get back. Hold on. Eh. Okay. Can I? I want to. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um. That was heavy. All right. Um. I want to make a chest. I don't have enough wood. Uh, I don't have enough energy to go chop down a tree. This is torture. All right, hold on. Um, I'm consuming the cattail. All right, hopefully that's enough that I can chop down a tree. Nope, not a hammer. I only got three wood. All right, well. <laughs> Well, probably if I pass out, I'll die, so. Alright. I'll be... Yeah. I'll be right back. Ooh! <gasps> Never mind. Hold on. We've got talent trees. Okay. Improved chance of successfully taming spirits. Increased chance of spirits dropping eggs or resources. Increased chance of uncommon cards appearing during level up. Move faster in dungeons. 10% chance to destroy adjacent rocks. Or sells for 10% more. Ooh, I love agriculture. Unlock stamina fertilizer crafting recipe. Unlock healing fertilizer. What? It, I wish I knew what these did. They sell for more. Drop three seeds. Ooh. Gain relationship points 5% faster. Can talk to villagers one extra time. Increase success. 10% mm -hmm. chance to wake up with extra stamina. Ooh, I love extra stamina. Stamina, stamina. But it would, at this point, it would only be like three. Oh, okay. I can only pick this. Okay, okay, okay. Spirits. Wait, this is foraging, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirits that are lower than your average spirit level run away from you. Increase light radius by 50%. 50% chance that crops drop coins when cut down. 5% chance to catch a treasure chest. More likely to catch silver quality fish. Okay. Um, I guess this one because like i don't have any light sources and i don't want things to run away from me Ooh, trees drop more wood cool all right i will be right back
Okay, I'm back. So, two things that I noticed. One, uh, I never noticed until I started basically streaming, playing games, how much there's just, like, parts in games that have no music or background or anything going on. <laughs> and it's just silent. Which, you know, you don't usually, I think, notice. Because usually when someone's playing a game, or at least, I don't know if, if anybody else does this, but I, I do it. I'm always listening to something else. So... I'm just like, oh my god, there's just no, no sound going on. Um, but, yeah, so we've had such a busy week here. Basically since Thursday. So I play D&D online um, with friends, with people I met online. Like, I meet everybody. Um on Thursday nights, Friday nights, and Monday nights. And they all go from 10 p.m. to like 1 or 2 in the morning for me, um, depending on which group I'm playing with. Uh, because the Thursday, Friday group is on the West Coast and I'm on the East Coast, so they start at like 7 and finish at 10, and I'm, I'm the one going real late. And then... The Monday group is just a bunch of degenerates who stay up until 2 a.m. like crazy people. And we have just been so busy. Like, usually on days that I'm not, like nights that I'm not playing d and I will go to bed at like 9 o'clock if I don't have anything to do. Like, if I don't have pressing matters, I go to bed at like Sometimes I'll go to bed at 8. Like, <laughs> I am just so tired. Um, but I haven't been able to recently because not just... I haven't had D&D &D on Thursdays and Fridays in a long time. And this was the first week that, like, I had it this week. Because we were off for, like, a month because of Christmas. And then people got COVID and... Then people went on post-Christmas vacations or whatever. So we hadn't played in a while. So I had been getting those extra sleeps. And I never realized how good it was to have those extra sleeps. Um, oh, I keep doing that. Oh, right. And I need to chop down trees. I got distracted. I was like, I need to break every rock that exists to see if there's another, like, tunnel that... I don't know how the dungeons are generated, like if it's a random or if they specifically spawn and like there's only like one per island or whatever. Because I know they can appear underneath these rocks, but only the big ones. But yeah, so I, I've just had so much apartment stuff to work on. Um... I helped all of my roommates, like, organize their rooms, which took, f like, four days total. And they also, because of helping to organize and pick up the rooms, everybody had a load of laundry. It took me all day to do laundry yesterday because our laundry, our dryer sucks. And I can put like a half of a load of like normal weekly laundry in and it will take two and a half hours to dry, which usually isn't a big deal because people stagger out just naturally when they need their laundry done. But I had three full baskets of laundry to do back to back to back yesterday and it's still not done. I got it all washed and dried, but it hit about 8 p.m. last night. And usually I take a nap before my D&D &D because I can't survive 
or I usually can't survive. I've been, oh, it pauses for you, that's nice. I didn't know that was a feature. I just stopped to eat for a second in real life. <laughs> And it gives you some music. That's nice. I like that. Um, but yeah, I am. Um, usually I take a nap, but I haven't been taking naps because I've been spending the time that I would usually nap in between stream and my D&D &D game. Thursday and Friday, I spent it helping to organize the room Saturday during my since I don't stream Saturday afternoon I spent that whole eight hours to nine hours doing their rooms and then yesterday I was doing all of the laundry and because I had four essentially four loads of laundry I think it was ended up being four or five loads of laundry um they didn't all get finished until about six o'clock and then six o'clock. I ended up streaming late because I wanted to finish Faith because I didn't want to stream Faith for an hour and then go to Moonstone Island for an hour or for, you know, the rest of the stream, not for an hour. Um, because I like to start and stop games. Like I like to end a game and then, um, like, end a game on one stream and start it brand new on another it's just a preference because I only stream for four hours if I streamed like eight hours straight I just you know obviously go into the next game with no issue um also the music doesn't loop but at least you get the ambience I guess um so um I streamed until like seven and then I cooked dinner, which took me an hour. And then from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, which is usually when I would take a nap, I had to fold laundry. And I folded laundry for two hours. I'm still not done. I think I got halfway finished. So that's what I'm going to be doing on my lunch break today, is I'm going to be folding more laundry. And... Then I stayed up and played D&D &D from 10 until 1, and then I get up at 6.50 to make breakfast and pack lunches for everybody. And I'm just so tired that I think I'm going to be like, if I can get all the laundry folded and everything finished, 8 p.m. is when I'm going to go into bed tonight <laughs> and catch up on some sleep. Because I need it. I'm very tired, but it's, it's been interesting because I haven't been like wholly exhausted. Like I feel pretty good right now. I think lunch is when my crash is going to happen. And it's going to be a struggle getting myself the motivation to <laughs> finish, finish that laundry. But I'm going to do it because I want it out of my face. All right. All right, we got enough wood for a chest now. A gate. Ooh. Okay. Now I have a chest. Oh, I, I hit back again because fucking backwards controls. What are these ghosts? I want to know. Ooh, I can change the color. <gasps> Where's purple? There we go. Place. Look at you. Uh, and then can I put... Oh, for fuck's sake. Is it... It says L2 hold to transfer stack. What does that mean? Like, I just want to put the whole thing in the... Alright, so will this work? It won't. No! Why? No, please don't... Why is the furnace system so bad? 
Why would you do that? There has to be a better way to do this. I don't believe that they would do this to you. Hold on. I have to look this up. This is important to me. I can't deal with this. What am I hearing? Oh, it's my, my fan, I think. Okay. Um, automate furnace moonstone valley or moonstone island I think moonstone valley how to make and use a furnace no 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 um is there any way to like automate it an upgraded furnace hmm Nope. Really? You're just going to make me do it one at a time? That's evil. Why would you do that? Why would... Why? Why? Why would you design your game like this? This is awful. This is criminal, even, one might say. Man, that's rough. Unless I'm just not, I can't, I almost can't believe that they would do this to the point that I'm just like. I have to be doing something wrong. It's the only explanation. Hold on. Like, I need to be able to put all of them in, right? God. There's no way. There's no way. We have to make a hundred furnaces. That's the only way that... This is unacceptable. <laughs> this is actually criminal negligence doing this to me. What the hell? Okay, well, I guess we're chopping down trees today. So that I can make enough furnaces. So I can smelt all of my ore. All of the trees. On no, I don't care if you're tired. We will pass out if we have to. I have to know what happens if I pass out anyway, so. This is... I bet she makes me pay for it. Just like... I pass out under a tree. It's fine. Passed out from exhaustion. Keep an eye on your stamina. Oh, I was. It was an experiment. Dungeons cleared. What do you mean? Okay, so they are... Um... Oh no, I overslept. Oh. So that's my punishment. Is I sleep till 9 p.m. Well, it doesn't... Or 9 a.m. 
It doesn't matter because I I can't go the whole day anyway, so. Flying V! Well, at least I think they don't make me pay for it like they do in Stardew Valley. I'm gonna end up just industrializing this island. I'm gonna have an entire part that's just all furnaces because it's the only way. to smelt all of my ore in a reasonable way. Why won't Celine leave her part of the island and go explore other islands? Because I literally can't. It takes me so long to smelt my ore, I needed to clear off an entire island just to fill it up with furnaces. So it says zero of 30 dungeons cleared, but the dungeon down here doesn't have any chests left in it. So what what are the parameters for clearing a dungeon then? If it's not clearing, because I don't think there are any more spirits in there either, because I caught or well, I mean, I caught both of them. Yeah, I know you're tired, but we, we don't have time to be tired. All right, fine. We'll go to the... We'll go to the hot spring or whatever. And sit in the hot spring for a hundred years. To replenish our stamina. <laughs> oh, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Have you checked out the dungeon yet? It's northeast of town near the hot spring. None of us have been able to go inside in a while because it's full of wild spirits. Oh, but that seems like your thing. I've heard there's treasure and stuff in there too. Go check it out. Thanks, will do. Oh, okay, so the... The things under, like, the, the holes that I fall into. Oh, those are mines. That's right. They're mines. Got it. Okay. See you. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense. I mean, those look like flowers, not rocks. But don't let me tell you how to live your life. Okay, so is it th that thing over there? Like, those holes? Or that, uh, yeah, yeah, that thing? Okay, well, I have to go sit in the hot spring. Because I'm exhausted, apparently. From chopping down, like, ten trees. Ugh. Like, this is just not feasible. I recover, hold on, All right. I was at 50, okay. I recover seven stamina per 10 minutes and I have 300 stamina. I wonder if, oh God, I'm s the hot springs, I don't know why. I just stopped being able to control my character very well. Going into the dungeon. Oh. Hello. Oh, 
Oh! What the heck? Oh, well, I figured out. Was that... I didn't realize that... I didn't know where I was. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Just falling to my, casually to my death. <laughs> As is my want to do. Right, and also, I want to make more... Hold on. Here. Let's make more bridges. I love how it's just like, yeah, you just fall to your death, idiot. I want to make another because these kind of bridges, like even in like, my, oh my god, are so precarious, and that's why, because <laughs> I just kind of. There we go. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. There's teleporty ones? Oh, God. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, that's probably not my friend. Um, okay, so I have to. Well, let's figure out where this is gonna take me. Hi, buddy! Be able to feed you. No, don't tuck on my box. That's rude. Alright, um. Ugh. Damn. Yes. Can I like switch? Which? Party member I use? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I get cards for everybody. Reduce armor by two. Reduce armor by one. Return. Damn. <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, it's got its... Good job, everybody. Black Fox is level two. Where am I? Oh. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, it's a Pokemon or a, a, a legally distinct spirit. You, my friend. <laughs> Move to the science center. Hop straw. 
That's so cute. Oh my god. I love him. I need a spirit barn like yesterday. Rage cleanse potion glass bottle. Okay, hold on. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Uh, yep. <laughs> that was my bad. I was like, oh yeah, I totally have this timing. <laughs> I did not. I've, I've failed in my timing. Spirits discovered. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I love the hop straw. I need a spirit barn. Oh no, I overslept. All right, hold on. Didn't they tell me that if I... What did I need to do to get a spirit barn? He said that he would teach me how to do it. Spirit brush. He used to brush spirits and make them happy and floppy. Uh, I don't remember what I needed to do. Okay. Craft a balloon. Activate the ando tree. Turn in research. Wait for a letter from Zed. From Zed. Okay. Sell iron ingots is what I need to do. Okay, so I wish that means I need to make iron ingots. Okay. Removes all rage from the spirit. Ooh, I found another moonstone. Stone fruit seed. Cool. No, not what I wanted. There we go. Stacks of a hundred is what we're working with. Uh, hold on. Sort. Sake. No. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. All right. Need to make a mailbox. Oh, stamina fruit. I need to make like a billion of you. You are so annoyingly necessary. Yes. Sell the gemstones. Yes. Um, back. Okay, uh, no, I can't harvest them, sadly. I need to harvest so many seeds. It is insane. Need some money. Link to the grass? What is that? What did that mean? Okay, harvest. I just need so many of these that I don't even need to... To the grass. I can't see anything. Cattail must be planted in water. Okay. Get. I'm trying to. Thank you. Okay.
Right. Sorry about that. Just replying to a message in my Discord. Confirming that everybody has left me. Right. I want to go explore the dungeon. The dungeon is fun. Huh. Apparently I have mail. Which would make sense. I don't own a mailbox, so... Uh... I wish it was better, like I could tell. Okay. Come say hi and check out our range of farming goods. Rowan. I mean, I guess I don't have anything else to do. If I could remember where the store is, which is over here, I believe. It's quite nice to have a new person. Nice. Um, shop. What does this do? Ooh. Oh my god, I could buy seeds. Okay. Spread on seeds to speed up, blah, 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 to boost a stamina stat, HP stat, tame stat, power stat, speed stat. Hmm. I just need like a billion stone fruit, honestly. Can you just give me literally how much? So it's 200. Fine. Can you give me 50? And I will spend all day just planting them. Yeah. I said 50. Did, is that not, did I hit no one accident? Thank you. Bye. All right. I'm going to spend my whole day planting star stone fruit seeds. Not star fruit. Stone fruit seeds. Because I am bro not. Okay. I'm not broke. I am tired. And I need stone fruit. I didn't realize that I could buy stone fruit from him for like super cheap. So I didn't need to break those those ones down and I could have had some. It is a shame, but now I know at least. So nope, nope, I don't want the scythe. I want the hoe. Thank you. Working move six by six. At least it's raining today. The funny thing is, is I'm probably going to exhaust myself watering these plants in the morning that I won't be able to do anything else. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh, I'm going to be real annoyed if this, like, different texture means that I can't dig there. I would say, oh, I could just use sprinklers, but I can't because the game lets me smelt one ore at a time. So I need a thousand... Oh, that's what I was doing before, is I was making a whole bunch of furnaces. <laughs> See, as you will notice when I'm playing these games, I will get distracted doing one thing after saying I'm going to do something because it's just tangentially related. Like, I can't remember what I left for. But I was like, oh, I have mail. Read the mail. And the mail was like, come to my store. And I'm like, yeah, all right. <laughs> and now we're here. Because I'm pretty sure I was chopping down wood so that I could make more furnaces, so I could smelt more ore, so that I could do something. I don't know what that something was that I wanted to do with the ore. 
But it was definitely make something, I think. Um, hold on, so, yes. I have wood, so let's... Absolutely a kick-ass giant robot. So, yes, I wanted to... Oh, perfect. <gasps> sake. I keep doing that. Furnace. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna put, I don't think I want to do that. Put them over here. It's fine. All right, so put them right on the edge of the world. All right, so one furnace, two furnace. Well, then get out of the way, idiot. And then I have to go get the coal. Unless I have coal in my inventory right now, I should probably do. Not that much, so. Go get the coal from the furnace. Uh, wait, no, I wanted to. Okay, um. I'm gonna kill someone. These backwards controls that are backward for me are very annoying, but that's just me. It's not anybody's fault but mine. Because I bought a backwards controller. Eh. Don't ask how it's working in the rain. It just is. Oh wait. Uh start? No. Wait, what just happened? Okay, so that was start. I just hit the button wrong, I guess. Let's go, oh God. Why? Why did they do this? Why did they hate me specifically? I can't believe that this was the system they went with. I feel like I have to be doing something wrong. Like, there has to be a way. <laughs> I, you know, I just don't know what it is. That's, that, it, that has to be how it, like, it, there's no, there's no other explanation. It can't be any other, any other explanation. I'm doing something wrong. It is my fault. <laughs> They, they can't have made the game like this. I refuse to believe it. Not with everything else that they put in this game. They didn't cut corners with the furnace. Or maybe they did because the furnace is only wooden rocks. They're like, yeah, they could make a thousand of them. It's fine. Yeah, I know you're tired, but we got work to do. We have to make so many furnaces that we feel like we're gonna die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, you're tired. You know what I'm tired of? You're complaining! Get back to work. I 
I want to know what the ghosts are about. That is what I want to know. Yes, going to bed. Going to bed at like... No, it was like 11, I think. No. It was 9. Save and go to sleep. My fur and I. Oh my god, finally. Hello. Oh, and it's raining again today. That's convenient. Just give me the... Oh, I never put anything in there, I guess. Oh, I know what I wanted these for. I wanted them for sprinklers. I was like, why am I doing this anyway? What do I want the ore for? The answer is sprinklers. And sprinklers are one of each, if I recall. I can make four. Water is the eight adjacent tiles every morning. Okay, so it's like... One, two, six. Okay, so it's like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I understand. Sprinkler! So it's like... This. So... I have to kill... A couple of these move all right um probably this one is it this yeah so cut down that one and that one and then probably just oh okay i understand what that was from now move oh, it's sad that i'm Getting fucked on these seeds, but that's a fine. I did this to myself. I deserve it. Okay, so sprinkler. Wait, why not? So I don't can't be placed here. It's because of the fucking. Can I un like? Dig the grass? Is it a hoe? Can I unhoe the grass? No. Well, how do I. How do I like fix the dirt? Oh, do I have to just start over? I'll start over. Fine. It'll grow eventually. Boop. Alright. Uh, and. Boop. Alright. Then. One, two. Wait, okay, hold on. One. So that's one row. That's one. Oh my God. Could you guys? I love you. Can you move? So that's one spot. So it needs to go. <laughs> right. Liter you are like my cat. Literally. You're just like, oh, were you doing something here? Idiots. Well, you're not anymore. I can't get it into the correct. There we go. I'm gonna go buy more and put them here into the waterable areas and then. spend my time going down and actually clearing out that little thingy. Um, 
to get the rest of the copper and the iron ore that are down there so I don't have to smelt anymore. Because <laughs> smelting is tedious. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to... Oh, no, the market is this way. And it's raining, so everybody should be... Oh, no, of course, you're not... What are you doing? It's noon! What? It is noon on a Wednesday. How are you not... Are you taking a lunch break? That's the only explanation I will accept. It's pretty quiet today. I need you to go back to your shop so I can buy things from you. That's what I need. I heard there's a spring flower that's made of fire. I think that sounds awesome. Have I found any? I'd like to see one. Okay, so you, one of your gifts is the fire flower or whatever it's called. All right, can you hurry up and give him his food so he can go back to his shop and do his job? Does anybody in this town do their jobs? It doesn't feel like they do. Whose house does this belong to and why can I just go into it? I've never actually seen anyone here. Well, at least you're doing your job. Who do you have your eye on around here? Just wondering. You're a catch. Thanks. Um, nobody, really. I mean, I guess Ophelia. But, like... That's crazy. We need a Stardew Valley mod where you can just buy things even when the shopkeeper isn't around. That was the best... The best mod in that game. <laughs> Just so that I didn't have to deal with his schedule. Do you like dad jokes? I love a good dad joke. Uh, I can try. I made a daddy good joke, apparently. Bye. Alright. Uh, come over here. Oh, you're not. How does fishing work? <laughs> dig. Oh, the water just like falls off the side of the world. Or the island, I should say, not the world. We're not... We're not a flat earth society here. I want to know who lives here. I wish it would tell you who lived here. I'm so curious. Um... Oh, look. More stamina. -mina. So then you must be... Why are you not out fishing? Oh! Oh, don't you look fancy today? Going somewhere? Um... No? I look the same as I do every day. Fishing rod! Yes! I bought a fishing rod. Um, I bought all kinds of fish. Okay. Uh, I... What just happened? I bought a fishing rod. Do I just go to water then? No. What What do I have to do? Because the fishing rod's not... Oh, oh, okay. Well, fuck this thing. I don't really need it. Oh, oh, okay, I understand. It's because I'm dumb. And I switched the scythe over there. Okay. Oh, why not just... Okay. I want to fish. No, I want to fish. Oh, 
hold to cast. Okay. Oh god. This is what we're going to be doing for the next 12 hours, I hope you know. Oh wait, oh, okay. Sorry, I was confused. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was too many things. What am I supposed to do? Do I... Oh, was it, was it too far? Am I too much of a gamer? And did I throw it over the edge of the world? Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. It said move circle. Okay. I'm going to figure this out. I have to move the circle. Oh, do I have to like move the circle onto the fish and like kind of keep it there? Oh, okay. I understand. That's so much more simple. I thought it was like. I got a fish. I got a pizza fish. I thought it was like those games where like it was going back and forth and you have to keep your um or you have to like click on it when it gets to its max length but also while it was in the circle because the circle was lit up green but I realize now that that's Hmm. That's a pretty easy fishing mini game, to be honest. I might, I might switch the. Uh, where is it? I might switch the. Um, the difficulty to. Uh. recommended because I didn't realize that perfect I wanted to see what it was first I guess I could have kept it on and then turn it down if it was too hard e. oh god Oh god, I need it on easy. Too dumb. Can't project where fish is going. <laughs> I got a flying fish, silver. Well, I mean, it turned me, which was cheating. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm trying to like get at the same, but you're like perf. Oh, there we go. Can't you see we're busy? Oh god! Oh god! That maybe we do need to bump it back down to easy. <laughs> Because <laughs> I bet you the moonstone, like the iridescent level, is real hard. I got a pizza fish silver. Flying fish silver. So, are you then the one who lives in the lighthouse thing? I 
I got a pizza fish. All right, I'm gonna talk to you. Who are you again? Oh yeah. Aren't you cold wearing that? What do you mean? I'm in like, I'm in like a long shirt, like long sleeve shirt, pants, a poncho, and a hat. Like, I barely show any skin at all. What? Oh, also, I should give you a gift. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to talk to you. See that collection up there? That's the Fisher's Guide. Shows you where's north. Helps you sail home. Sure. Uh, have a pe- have a silver pizza fish. Pizza fish get their name from their pizza slice-like shape. Oh. I'll never say no to a gift. Right, here you go. Fish! Thanks for sharing your catch with me. Bye. Right, well, I should probably go home. I got nothing accomplished today. I said I was gonna go down and like mine the rest of the ore. Didn't got distracted fishing. I mean, I guess I could... Oh, no. No, what happened was I went to go and um buy more of the seeds. And then that asshole left his shop at noon and I couldn't fucking buy anything anymore and so then it distracted me enough that then I went fishing thinking that it would you know I'd spend some I'd waste some time and then I wasted too much time but I didn't. This was before I realized what iron ore looked like and I thought it all was just rocks. <laughs> After this one. No, I gotta go after this one. Got two hours to get home. I don't know how long it will usually take me to get there. It's about an hour I should give myself, probably. Um, just to be safe. What is happening? I can't get into my bed. 
I'm just going to ignore the ghosts that are in my house. Hello? Can I? There we go. Uh... Aw, oh, look at the little animation for the sprinklers. That's fun. It almost makes me forget how tedious these furnaces are. Almost. that one and I'm just gonna let it die because that's gonna be where sprinklers go. I really hope that these are even because if they're not I'm gonna be sad. But I mean I guess because they're not planted down there yet. Yeah they're oh no they are no they're not they're one row off. Nope, I didn't mean to water that. Damn it. Yeah, they're one row off. That gives me depression. The problem is, is that I don't know how to break, like, how to turn dirt, like, till dirt back into regular dirt, because I don't have, like, a shovel or anything. Um... Okay, so I need to scythe this to death. Oh, that was wrong, but that's fine. Because it was... Okay. Um... Yeah. Need to move them up slightly. But I can't, because I can't put it down into the dirt. So hopefully just leaving them alone for a couple of days will fix them. We'll see. Back into the salt mines for me. The literal salt mines. And by literal, I mean figurative. Because there's no salt, as far as I can tell, inside of these mines. It's just iron and copper. This place of ore, we are done. Which I'm thankful for. I wonder if there's any more, is the question. Because I don't know how often or like how many of those can spawn on an island. Oh, 
this nice music. Alright, so there's one over there. Oh, I don't know why it's being so finicky to control right now. can find any more mines on this island and then really our next objective if we can't find any more mines is to clear the dungeon and then I think we're ready to move on to a new island because I don't think that there's anything else to do on this island specifically. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I forgot. I, I have food for once. Um, ooh, I wonder. Eat them, fish. Eat it. I do have to say, I do not like the... Um, sound for eating things. It's very shrill. for no real reason. Hello, Runic. How are you today? No, that's not what I want to do. Woke up not too long ago. Well, I hope you're having a relaxing Tuesday. I'm doing great. I am playing this adorable little game that is a mix of like Stardew Valley and Pokemon. It's very fun so far. Very cute too. Loving the little pixel graphics. You think you've seen this game before? All oh, right, all right. Don't let me forget that I need to go turn in research. Mirror of Introspection, Moonstone Enchanter. It starts with you leaving for some kind of school before you crash. Um, not a school. You're just leaving to go find an island to... Um, oh, maybe you were supposed to go to a school. You were supposed to go out and become an alchemist. And I don't know if you were supposed to go to an alchemist school or if you were just supposed to, like, go and be an alchemist on somebody's... Like, on... Go find an island that didn't have one and be an alchemist. But yeah, you, uh, you crash... You crash your flying broom and get stuck on an island full of very interesting and nice people. What time is that? Alright, we should eat a little more. One of your favorite non-mons is the pig one. I haven't run into a pig, a pig spirit yet. I have, um, I picked the bee and we have fluff fox, which is just a fox, generic fox, um, and, uh, worm, worf, worf, who is a worm inside of an apple. I know, I'm tired. I get it. Continue to toil. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. If you didn't stop. Also, I haven't run into any spirits down in... Oh, and we also caught a straw man. Uh, I can't remember what a uh, hop, hop straw. Oh, wait, I see something out there. <gasps> it looks like a pumpkin or an onion. Oh my God, there's, oh my God, look at him. He's a little angry. Oh my God, yes. It's an angry pot. I am going to feed you all and take you with me. Be my friend. No. Oh my god. Oh, I thought its name was Humbleweed. Its name is Mumbleweed. Oh, that is so cute. I can't, I can't get over this game. It's adorable. Yeah. Mumbleweed. Go to the science center. Because I still... I never got the... What did it say? Okay. Yeah. Because I don't have the thingy yet. Because I haven't gone there. Ooh, I got a stone fruit. How kind. There were th three of them. Oh, that's right. Because I upped the difficulty. Well, thank you for the, for the fruit. I needed that to continue my toil. Oh, my God. That angry... Blaze it! Collect 420 stones. Right. Ooh, it's the last chest. Another moonstone. New crafting recipe calendar. Nice. Come back down here tomorrow and finish off this ore. I'm trapped forever. Have to try to remember where the heck this is. Or where I am. Or how to get home. All of it is a struggle. Yeah, I have to remember first thing in the morning, I need to go to the research center. And like look at my spirits or do something. The tedium that is this still boggles my mind. Okay. I, I feel like I have to be doing something wrong. That this is this tedious. Actually, hold on. I need to go into my... One thing I can do to help with the tedium is go into my inventory. And... Put that there. And put that there. So that'll help a little, I guess. fun talking. See you later. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Nope, that's not what I wanted. 
Come back. Baby, come back. Can I make any more furnaces? As far as I know, only quality of life upgraded furnaces is a certain. Yeah, I looked that up as well. And I agree. Or I uh, concur, I should say. Provides lights. Which is butts. Yeah, it's uh, pretty brutal. I needed some wood. It's uh, pretty brutal to have like this be the only way that you can. I'll put them down tomorrow. It's fine. Uh, want to sell? Yeah, fishing seems to be a pretty good way to go for. Oh, resets it every time. Um. Exit. Yeah. It is indeed booty. Alright. Um, that. And I really don't know what I'm going to do with that. So put it over there for now. Uh, um, yeah, this can stay. I mean, sort everything. Exit. I guess I go bed. Yes. Need to go and talk and get my spirit barn. Ooh, got another point in foraging. Um. I mean, light radius is nice, but rocks, trees drop more wood. Yes, please. We'll take that. All right. So cute. Your progress has been saved. Hmm. Er, wait, there we go. Help. Every day they were gonna die and instead they just didn't progress which is more tedious than digging them up which is what I'm gonna do Switch to the scythe and break these down. And then just kind of hope that those disappear. Ooh, I can get more sprinklers though.
No. No. <laughs> Please stop taking my coal out. I don't need the coal out. One thing I need to do though is I need to move these two over. There we go. Her body tense and quivered as she felt wave after wave surge through it. I probably should have told her about the electric fence. <laughs> What are you reading? Just saw a photo of the page online. Oh. Okay. I think I can go put my calendar up. And then I'm, I'm going to go get my barn. Someone alleges that it's 50 shades, but I'm not buying it. I don't, I mean, I've never read 50 shades of gray, but I don't know. Well, yeah, because no, it, it can't be from 50 shades of gray because if I recall 50 shades of gray is from Anastasia's perspective, right? So Why would she be saying that? Or why would she be like narrating that? That sounds like that might be more from like Christian's perspective if it was from Fifty Shades of Grey. I would assume. I've never seen it or I've never read it. <laughs> nope, I don't want to go to bed. Not yet. Um... Gosh, what else do you use fiber for? <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my spirit barn, hopefully. So I don't know what research I'm putting in, but I have... Hopefully I've accumulated some. I have mail, apparently. Hey, kid. Your, fa your mother and I completely forgot to tell you about moonstones. You'll need to find them for alchemist recipes. But they're easy to spot because they glow at night. They're terribly rare, though. Only one moonstone appears on each island. Your mother wants to add that you should eat your vegetables and go to bed at a sensible time. Don't worry, Mom. Totally am. You... Of course I know it's science. View spirits and storage, turn in spirit research. Oh wow, he pays me a lot. Thank you, I'll analyze the data and we'll send you a letter if I find anything interesting. Keep up the good work. View my spirits and storage. Aww, my hop straw, he's so cute. I love him. And the the punchy pot. Uh, I kinda wanna He's he's so perfect for me turning sentient creature. Cause that's what happens sometimes. I turn plant sentient as a dryad. And boy, you'd think it would be like a Disney musical. Not all the time. <laughs> sometimes you get plants like this. <laughs> I I want to move into the medallion. Oh. He's so cute. How do I move him to my medallion? Oh, do I have to go into the medallion and let one of them go? Um. Okay. Well, bye. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going into my pocket dimension.
level up. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna make you, ooh. Rock throw, one, two, ooh. Uh, ooh. That sounds fun. We'll get that one. Even though that other one was really good. Level up. You need to be fast. You're a fox. You need to be speedy. Ooh. Deal two, so four damage or four damage or four damage and one armor. Sure. Do you remove the armor first or do you attack first? Because if you attack first, this is not very good. But I'm assuming because it's because it's called one, two. That you attack after you hit the armor. But honestly, impossible to tell. <laughs> with a game like this. Okay, so, oh, oh, I have to wait for his letter. Did I talk to him? I don't remember. I might go to Zed's place later. He always got the coolest stuff. Yeah, he's so cool. Okay, bye. I don't think I talked to him, but I don't remember. My short-term memory is the worst. Seventy-five percent failed. Two out of three. Bye. Oh, it's Friday. It's Friday. Friday at last. It's one of my busiest days at work, though. Well, yeah, because you hold a happy hour. I will come back after I'm done toiling in the mines. I promise. Where was that mine? I think it was over. No, my house is up there. So that's the first mine. I'm looking for the second mine. I think it might be over here because I think it's the ch green check mark. It is. I think it's like check marking is like you found all of the chests in here. But I don't need the chests. Also, oh, I should have probably fished today. Help, how did I get there? <laughs> how did I get here the first time? Alright, just need a remind. No, there's more stuff. Alright. one of them fancy old people chairs that stands you up. Oh, I want a recliner so bad. Like one of those really big like either Hold on. Either a uh like, I just want, like, one of those, either, it could be made out of, like, leather, or, like, fake leather, or upholstery, or whatever, I don't care what it's made out of, I prefer if it was made out of, like, 
a softer material, not leather. Because in the heat... Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Oh. Yeah. Sorry that that tumble was so rough. Was hoping that you wouldn't be uh, feeling the side effects of it too bad, but looks like it was a... Uh, Maybe today will just be a sore day and you'll feel a lot better tomorrow. Yeah, I want I want a recliner so bad, like one of those big plushy ones. Because we kind of have one in the living room right now where it's like a, a nice fluffy armchair. But like, I want one where I can have like a little handle and it'll pop my feet up literally but i know that it would be so dangerous to get one of those because if i did after after stream and after cooking dinner if i sat down in that thing i would never get out i would just sit in that recliner for the rest of my life and i've made jokes that if the the like armchair that we had was a recliner there would have been so many nights I would have just fallen asleep in it. Oh, everybody's off to the tavern. Yeah, I'm so sorry that happened. Ooh, there's music. Well, everybody's here. You can talk to everybody at the same time. Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how Gull is doing uppies in the Discord because I put her perfectly symmetrical uh, banana sandwich that I made. I made, um, I ran out of meat. I bought a pound of turkey meat and it was gone in like a day and a half. I made two lunches worth and it was all gone. I was like, shit, I should have bought more. So I just don't have any lunch. <laughs> meat for the rest of the week and I've got to pack lunches so I was like fuck what do I make what do I make peanut butter and banana sandwiches they they like them for some reason and the ultimate goal when making a peanut butter and banana sandwich is to get the bananas hold on I'll show get the bananas perfect and I did this time. I got nine perfect slices of banana on the sandwich. And none of them are a little piece and none of them are falling off. It was a perfect sandwich. And then I had to smash it down to fit it into the into the bento boxes. So it was a failure regardless, but I was really proud of that sandwich. And uh that was the sandwich that ended up going in Gull's bento this morning. And uh, she just posted in the Discord the, the uppies emote like she wants to eat it. And I'm like, it's it's your sandwich. It's in your big comfy recliner, which reclines far enough to sleep in, has footrest massages, has heating elements to keep you toasty when it's cold, and for heated massage, cup holders, and adjustable table pockets. Oh, yes. I don't need all that stuff, but I would love a heating element in it too because I get so cold. Como te va? But I would definitely love a recliner, a footrest, and. Heating. I don't need the massages and stuff. Cup of coffee. My current chair has all that except the standing feature. Oh. I just have a baby bitch. Neat whiskey, but it smells way too much like rubbing alcohol. 
guess I'll never be a cool whiskey guy. Do you know how hard it is to get a date out here? The only people who ever visit are delivery people, and occasionally researchers visiting Zed and Chloe. Researchers are not my type. $950 chair we got for $300 on sale. Ugh. You should link that to me. So I can keep an eye out. Oh, okay, so... Ophelia likes Guyana. I talked to you already, apparently. I don't know if I already told you, but I'm an artist. I feel like everyone else here runs a shop. Not me, though. They're not carrying it anymore? Yeah, but you can show me the manufacturer, because... Why are you over here all by yourself? It was Black Friday plus end of stocking for the chairs, so they needed to dump it. Oof. Everybody's having a good time at the, at the bar tonight. I'm going to go hang out with my Pokemon <laughs> and go to bed. Like, maybe I can do, like, a quick round of fishing at home. fish okay so it's like 10 per or 5 stamina per is what I was trying to say I was wondering like how much I could fish and it looks like I can only do 2 before I'm gonna pass out and die because I think it said 18 before. Ooh. Zenfish. Let's see. These fish get their name from the ring lake. These fish can live for centuries and exude a calming aura. Aw. That's nice. Oh, nice. Nice little fish. Alright, gotta go to bed. And that'll be the last day that we do today. Ooh, we got a social. Great listener. Gain relationship points 5% faster. Can talk to you. Give an additional gift. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. E. Shit. Oh, and it'll lock that out. Okay. Increases chances of successfully chatting. I feel like that's better than an additional. Um, I mean... We're at like 75% or whatever. It is 85% really? And it's probably better to get one extra than higher chance, I think. Yeah. Nothing. I did nothing today as far as the game was concerned. But that's not true. I definitely did things. I just don't know what those things were. I did something for sure. All right. That's going to be where we end for today, or at least we end for this morning, I should say. I'll be back again in about two hours to uh, continue on our little journey. This game is so adorable. Exit to menu. This game is so adorable. I'm excited to um, get off of the island, this island, once we've like cracked all of the stones and everything to see if there's anything underneath. 
uh, any more mines, I should say. Clear out all the mines on this island, and then uh, finish the dungeon on the island. And then go explore other islands and maybe actually find some crops to do stuff with, because haven't haven't run into any crops yet because I don't think any of them grow on this island other than the like four basic ones but that'll be really fun it's just such a cute little game Pokemon and Stardew Valley rolled into one for a fun little farm sim I hope that you enjoyed your time here with me I like I said I'll be back in about two or so hours and I'm gonna try to remember to plug my uh, my new controller in so it doesn't die although I'm sure it's totally fine um, yeah hope everybody's having a is this not no that goes to the um, I think that goes to the little lamp that I have Hope everybody is having a good day. Good relaxing Tuesday. Ooh, rumble. It's having a good and relaxing Tuesday as I try to turn this off. Maybe I can't because it's plugged in. Hmm. Hold on, let me try to unplug it and then turn it off. Here we go. Oh, and then if I plug it in, it just turns back on. Okay. I can't have it turned off and charging at the same time. As long as it's in the computer. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, I'm so sorry, chat. I just hit you. Um, yeah, if you would like to know when I go live again, you can follow me on Twitch. You can follow me on Twitter. And you can join the Discord. All of those places are away our notifications. Um for um me going live um i have a bot in the discord that adds everyone when i go live if you're interested in that i try to remember to tweet every time i go live doesn't always happen but i do my best and we'll be back for some more moonstone island later today if i don't see you again i hope you have a wonderful tuesday and thank you so much for spending your time with me and if I do see you again, I'll be back soon. Thanks so much. I'm going to run a couple of minutes of ads if you'd be so kind as to stick around. It supports me a little bit, and I appreciate it. If not, I totally understand. Ads are annoying. Have a good one, everyone. Bye for now.